So guys, a while ago you heard the exhaust on my 2019 Honda CB500X. Now that was the aftermarket exhaust that I got for my bike when I received it in 2019. Sounds good, right? Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. I'm truly grateful. If you're new to this channel, do me a favor, smash the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together. It's been four years since I owned this bike. And like I said before, I made some modifications when I received this bike, but it's gone past four years and it was time to upgrade to newer modifications. And recently, I just felt like it was time to upgrade some of the modifications that I initially made on this bike when I received it in 2019. So in this video, I'm going to show you the changes that I've made to the mods on this bike. Stay tuned. So guys, I'll start here in the front with the windshield. So the first change that I made was the windshield. I had a windshield which is about the same size of 60 centimeters tall. Basically the same height as this one. But the only difference now is with this new windshield, the old windshield was slimmer. So it ran kind of like here all the way down. It didn't have this protruding ends to give more wind protection. So when I thought of upgrading the windshield, I decided to go in for this one, which has this protruding ends, so I can have some wind protection on the lower part of my body as well. I'm here to test it in the summer to see. So we'll see how it does in the summer. If it's too hot, then I might think of some other option, but for winter, this works really great. And this windshield is also a little thicker as well, so it doesn't wobble as much as the old one did. It's more stable. And it also has some nice decals here, which don't intrude in my area of view or vision when I'm riding the bike. So it gives a really nice touch to, to the windshield, makes it look really more professional. I think from the start, a windshield like this or something close to this should have been installed on the bike from factory. But either way, I have my windshield and it protects me just as the old one did. But this one gives a bit more protection and it's a bit more stable because it's thicker here. So the next thing that I changed was these hand guards. So my previous hand guards only had this black section of the hand guard. There was no this transparent see-through section of the hand guard. So this one is a two-in-one. So it has the original one that I had, that, that same style, but it also has this additional one that you can slap on top, which gives, which makes the area of protection wider and stop a lot more wind, cold wind, especially when you're riding in the winter. So I decided to go in for this one with this extra one so that I can have better protection from the cold wind. But then when the summer comes and it gets warmer, I can actually take off these screws and take off this transparent one so I can have some cool air blow over my hands in the hot summer months. And if you look carefully, you will see that there is some uh, kind of like Honda branding here, kind of just like a, uh, a sticker or something, uh, some sort of a plastic uh, with Honda branding here that I slapped on it. It's not something really important, but it's just another thing that makes it look nicer and look original although it is not so i changed the hand guards and the reason i did that was to have better wind protection especially with this extension another thing that i replaced were my heated grips so initially i had these heated grips that worked really really well they had four stages of heating but I decided to go in for this one, which is a six stage heating for uh, maximum heating of my hands. It's not as if the old one was broken, but I just felt that sometimes my hands were a bit, a bit more chilly. So I wanted something that will heat a bit more. So I, I went in for a new heated grip and I can tell you it heats up really, really quickly and it works really, really well to keep your hands nice and toast for the cold riding days. I just have one little negative though. The older ones were a bit thinner or slimmer than these ones. So with these ones, they're a little bit thicker. And when I ride for a considerable amount of time, I kind of feel like my thumb area, maybe my hands are small, but I kind of feel like my thumb area is being stretched out a bit more because it has thicker grips. But hey, you get used to it. Maybe when the summer comes in, I start using smaller gloves is going to be a bit better or maybe my winter gloves are just too heavy 
So as I have heated grips and these guards for protection, maybe next winter I'm going to invest in some thinner winter gloves and maybe that will solve the problem. But overall, it works great and it's connected to the ignition. So when the ignition is off, then the, um, I can operate it, unlike the previous one, which I hooked directly onto the battery. So that's something new there as well. So next on this upgrade list is the auxiliary lights that I have on here now. These are more powerful than the ones that I showed earlier uh, on my bike. So the one I had before was brandless. It worked really, really well. And to be honest, I really, really liked it. But I just felt like I needed more lighting for uh, riding and one that had multiple functions. So this light is from the Lobu company. By now, maybe some of you out there know about the Chinese brand Lobu. They make really high quality motorcycle accessories. Check them out, L-O-B-O-O. -O -O. So Lobu makes all kinds of motorcycle accessories and they don't cheapen out at all. They make really high quality. It seems like a titanium sort of material, really high quality, really tough. And it also has this yellowish cover that you can slap on. It's just, I have it somewhere, I don't have it here but you can slap it on the face of this light so you can use it in sandy conditions, snowy conditions, or for just for better vision. But for normal use, I prefer the white lenses, so I just leave it, I just leave it running uh, without, the, without the cover. But when I'm going to write in conditions where I need to be visible and to see properly, I would slap it on so I can have um, the yellow lighting as well but for normal daily ride this is what i'm rocking now it has flashing it has all sorts of flashing and uh, hazard functions and it has the low beam and the high beam as well so it works really really well and lights up the road really really good and the controller i've placed here so it's easy to reach and it's a very intelligent system so the the controller is so small to the point where you can you can actually stick it anywhere convenient for your for yourself so i stuck it here right above the clutch lever so i can easily reach it when i'm riding without having to reach out all the way unlike the old one which was installed somewhere here and the last modification that i made to this bike is getting an aluminum top box this blacked out one so my previous one was a plastic shot uh, 39 liter box but this time i decided to go for a, an aluminum one for better protection of my valuables in the box not that anyone is going to steal but it just gives you a peace of mind and it also makes the bike look better than the shot that's my personal opinion i don't know what you think but at the end of the day yeah you get better protection and it's very strong but light aluminum so it's not putting too much weight on the bike almost the same weight as the previous one but i like the look of this one better on this bike i think it suits it much better than the plastic one and another reason is sometimes with the old box i didn't have any lining inside so if i had hard objects in it and i was riding they would move and scratch and make noise and rattle in the box but this one comes with inner lining that stops you from hearing any noise of anything that is moving about in the box. So yeah, for just that and other reasons, I thought that it was nice and better to go for a different box. All right guys, so that's the end of this video. It was just to show you some of the new modifications that I've made on my Honda CB500X. Maybe there's someone out there who is looking to make some modifications. This video might just give you some ideas and also help you choose what additional accessories you want to put on this bike so thank you for sticking around till the end of this video if you're new to this channel do me a favor smash the subscribe button and don't forget to like the video when you do and share the video so others can have ideas on how to modify their honda cb 500 x or any bike for that matter because some of these parts would fit on other bikes as well so guys till i see you in the next video ride legal ride safe always peace and I'm out.